Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got some new gear in from B&H that I ordered in along with the M50 that I just wanted to, I guess, kind of do an unboxing. You've seen me unbox the Tascam DR05, the uh, the portable audio recorder. Um, I wanted to get that back in because I haven't had a chance to finish the review. I'm always, it seems like there's always so much going on, and that was one of the things I didn't finish up the last time. But um, because I wanted to get it back in and finish the review, I took the the opportunity to get in the kit that B and H orders, and that is this Polson shotgun mic. And they sell this as a kit together with the DR05. I think it was around 140, roughly around there. I'll put a link below; you can check it out. Um, but I'm really curious to see um, using this shotgun kit with the DR05. Um, I'll tell you. Let me put this down for a minute, just off the. Tell you what I'm thinking here. Why? these things are of such an interest to me. First of all, I have a Zoom H1. The Zoom H1 has an issue. Uh, it's not the new, I know there's a, mo a Model 2 out, a Mark 2 out now. Mine is the original one, um, and I've had issues with the Zoom as far as syncing it to camera audio because the internal time clock seems to not, it drifts. The time clock drifts. So if I sync it with a video clip, I can sync it at the beginning and it's fine, but it's say even a minute or two minutes in, you're already starting to see a drift between the audio out of the Zoom H1 and the audio from the camera. In other words, there's something not, that the time clock is not keeping accurate time. And it's it's in a very, very minute amount of drift in the sense of it's only off by a little bit. But it's noticeable when you're syncing audio tracks, which you're often doing in video. My testing so far with the Tascam DR5 indicates that this does not do that. So small and lightweight. Um, let's open this one to show you what I mean by small and lightweight. You've seen me open this before. In previous unboxings but we got to get this out get it going for testing so um, this is the the dr05 if you'll remember um, small lightweight perhaps a little bit bigger than the uh, the zoom h1 but not by much so a nice small light light weight <laughs> recorder one of the big advantages of this is if you want to get away from using wireless lav mics or wireless which can be all sorts of their own issues in the sense of um, you need multiple body packs with more than one person. You need um, batteries. You got to be checking your batteries constantly. If you're shooting for a while, your batteries could go out on you. There's just there's a lot of things that could be a problem. A very simple solution is to take an audio device like the DR05 like this. It'll sit in your pocket very easily. You plug in your lav mic to it. You check your levels. You, you gear yourself up and you're good to go. Then you sync the audio track from this in post later. You could have Two of these, if you have two people on set talking, you could each have them lav mic'd going to one of these on each other person instead of a body, uh, a body pack going to an audio recorder like the DR05. Um, and providing, as I said, I, as far as I know, from what I've seen so far, I haven't seen any issues with uh, time drift, with the audio drift. So providing you get a, a device that's not having an issue with that, you sync it in post later, and you could have the two tracks synced to... The camera track and you've got perfectly synced audio no need to go wireless and you don't have to worry about the wireless capabilities you know the good wireless lav packs are often quite expensive these this this audio uh, device here is about a hundred dollars or less so great option and then the other option is let's get this out of the box because this is new i haven't uh, reviewed one of these before as i said it was a kit offering on b h so i thought well let's get the kit in so this is a um shotgun mic the scl 1075 by polson and um it's it's got a uh, a regular standard headphone jack it was those three and a half mil i think so you plug it into the uh let's see here i believe it's at the top mic yeah so it goes into the top of the dr05 and now we are shotgun mic'd with the dr05 so instead of using a lav mic in the dr05 you could have this just off camera, like I could have this out of the way, and this could be up out of the frame. For instance, if say I had this just above my head, I don't know if that's out of, that, yeah, that's out of the frame. So you could position that right about there, and this could be picking up my audio instead of having my AT2020 in the set. If you don't want to have the mic visible, this could be doing your audio. You don't need um, a lot of fancy stuff. This, I think the, the kit was $150, $140, $150 comes with a nice uh, foam dead cat. So let's see here. Let's get that on there. Let's get this on. 
because I'm probably going to be using this with it on because this will, you know, cut down on your hisses and pops and burps and all your sorts of external noise. That's why you use one of those. We've got, um, we've got a um, stand adapter for the mic. So that'll sit. I guess you just pop that. There you go. So you can imagine if you're on a stand. So you could put that on an arm if you want to get it in camera, or you could just have it on a stand like that. There is a second stand here that comes with this. I should say a second stand, a second adapter. And this is uh, for on camera. So you could put that on camera and use it as an on-camera shotgun mic. Um, I'm sure you could pop it, pipe it right into the camera if you got a mic input like the G85 here does. Or you could be recording it straight to the DR05. So that's, I mean, the idea with the kit here. So we're going to test this out. I've got a, a new cooking show I'm, I'm trying to get rolling with a friend of mine, a neighbor, um, and we're going to be doing it like an on-set cooking show. And I've been looking at how to do – that's where this whole idea with the, the wireless lav mics came up. I mean, I've used them before, but I thought the easiest thing for us is to run a lav mic to each of us, pipe it into something like a DR05, and then um, sync it in post – and then we've got both of our audio tracks. We don't have to worry about wireless. We can be moving around in the kitchen. That's the idea. So if you're doing any type of show or any, you're looking how to outfit audio for any type of thing like that where you need some flexibility but want to keep it good quality and inexpensive, a lav mic with the DR05 may be the way to go. Or a shotgun mic like this kit with the DR05 could be the way to go as well. As again, you could put that on camera with this this uh, bracket holder, or you could put that on a, a stand and either just have it on the stand or have it on a boom pole coming in. So that's what we're going to be testing. I'm going to be double checking that we don't have that drift issue that I have with the Zoom H1 with the DR05. Again, I, I didn't experience it before, so I'm not expecting to see that, but we'll, we'll, we'll double check it. Um, and we're going to try it out with this, um, this shotgun mic just out of curiosity to see how it works. So uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any feedback on it, if you've used the DR05 or if you've used this kit or if you've used a shotgun mic piped into an audio recorder, feel free to uh, contribute. Leave your, your, uh, your contributions in the comments below. Thanks, folks. It's always great to hear back from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.